Hey guys, it's me, Holly Madison. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are gonna see what's in my hair bag. This is a pretty big bag. This is my base travel tote. Base is one of our podcast sponsors, and we love them. And this travel tote, it feels kind of small when you have it on. Like you can see, it slims down, but you can fit so much into this. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. So I'm gonna put my makeup kit in it for my photo shoot tomorrow and also my hair stuff. I've packed a makeup kit with you guys before. Um, I have another video on it. It's called like pack your travel makeup kit with me or build your travel makeup kit with me or something like that. But I also forgot to mention it's Vlogmas day. Is it day four already? Anyway, it's Vlogmas. I'm still here. We're still here. We're good. So I'm going to show you what I put in my hair bag for a photo shoot. The two heat tools I bring are just like a curling iron and a straightening iron just so I can do whatever. This is a chi straightener that I have had forever. They used to be the sponsors of the theater I was in when I was doing my show in Vegas. And I think I have had this since then for like 10 years. And that's just a testament to how these hold up and still work and are amazing. This is like their pink, like breast cancer awareness one. It's from so long ago, but it's still amazing. And also a curling iron. This is a metal one. Usually I like prefer to use a ceramic. This is like a pro beauty tools, but it's like an extra that I just throw in my bag in case I need to recurl my hair once I get to set. And we are gonna repack this bag. This is kind of just extra hair stuff I have sitting around for when I need to take to shoots and stuff, but let's clean this out and see what we have here. Of course, I'm gonna bring a tiny brush. Is that a brush out that scraggly hair? You always need an oil. This is Oi Oil, the Devines, Devines. I don't know how we say it, but it's the Oi Oil. I really love it. Also, Vegamore makes a great oil too. I have that at my other house. But if you are coloring your hair, bleaching out your hair, you need to use an oil every day, I think, anyway. My, my scalp isn't oily or super oily, so I don't have issues with that really. And I just, I need to do the oil every day because I have color damaged hair. I also bring a pomade to like tack down the flyaways. This is called Beyond the Zone Stiff Head, but I don't think they make this anymore. I've had it forever. The thing about a pomade, not a lot of places make pomade sticks because once you buy one, they last so long, you don't really need more. I had one from like back in the day when I used to see Laurent back in the Girls Next Door days. And um, he gave me one and then I wanted one for like my other house or, or travel kit or something. And he's like, they do not make anymore because once you have one, you do not need to buy another, so they don't make them anymore. And I am like, that was my really bad French accent, guys. Um, Cause we love Laurent and we know, if you watch the show, you know Laurent, you know his lovely French accent. I have this thing where when I repeat what other people say, I do it in their voice and it might be a really bad impression, probably usually is but it's just how it comes out. I don't really mean to do it all the time. I mean, I was having fun with that one. I knew I was gonna do that one, but usually it'll just like kind of come out in their voice. And I've heard that's like a neurodivergent thing, but I feel like it's probably contributed to people like hating me over the years because they probably think I'm mocking them when I'm not. I appreciate an accent, I appreciate a voice. And it just comes out when I repeat what people say. I've lost you all on that, haven't I? I don't need a wig cap for this shoot, so we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna bring these barrettes just in case. They might look kind of cute on my bangs. We always love a butterfly barrette. I always have these. And no, it's not because I'm an MK Ultra Beta Slave. We always need to bring a travel hairspray. This is also Chi, and this is probably from <laughs> Back when I had a show in Vegas and they sponsored the show. I I think it's just, I mean, it's a full bottle. It doesn't expire. We need a comb. We need a comb. I can't, you can't see it when I hold it up here. We need just a basic comb because you never know when you need to comb. Like if you have your hair in a ponytail and you just need to like smooth those sides. Yes, we need a comb. I love these baby hair ties. You can get them in like non-baby size too, but it's these kind of like cloth hair ties. 
because I have a lot of hair on my head. I use a lot of extensions, but also my normal hair, it's super thick. So in order for my hair to even stay up as a ponytail, I need these as opposed to like the goodie rubber bands because these hold a lot better. And these small ones are great for like pigtails and braids. You also need bobby pins, like my skeleton bag. We always need a basic black headband. I'm not sure what kind of looks are gonna be at this shoot tomorrow, but I love a basic black Alice in Wonderland style hairband. You guys, is that it? Is that all I'm gonna put in my hair bag? I think so, because I think that's probably all I will need for tomorrow, really. So I will finish this out by showing you what other hair products I'm using right now. This, I should probably put one of these in my bag. This is the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Protectant Spray. And it's actually, it's a clear liquid. This is just orange in the bottle. I just say that because if any of you have ever bleached your hair super light, you know that you can't really put colored products in your hair. Like there would even be certain hairsprays back when my hair was really white. There would be certain hairsprays, like I think the Sebastian hairspray, even though it looked clear, I couldn't put it in my hair and then use a curling iron because it would turn my hair pink. And it used to make me panic because I had to have my hair, this was again back when I was in a show, and I used to have to have my hair consistent every day. So I would panic. This is the shampoo I'm using right now, the Vega More Grow. It's sulfate free. That smells good. How do I describe the smell? Very citrusy, very refreshing. There's a little bit of notes of something else in there, but I'm not a scent expert, so I can't like, it's mostly citrusy and it's really good. I also like the mauve packaging. This is the Vegamore scalp treatment I've been doing. I do this before I wash my hair. I put this all over my scalp, massage it, put some conditioner in my hair, put it up in a bun, and let it sit for like 20 minutes before I wash my hair. And I just feel like it keeps my scalp nice and not flaky or anything. This is another one I like. This is Olaplex number six. You put this on your hair wherever you feel damaged right after you do, like it's a leave-in, so it's after shampoo and conditioner while your hair is still wet. And the smell of this is heavenly. It smells like Christmas pine. <sighs> I love it. So that is currently what I am doing for hair care. That's how I keep my hair hanging on the way it's hanging on. <laughs> I wish it was super, super long. I wish I didn't have to use extensions at all, but it's getting there, it's getting better. It's a lot healthier and shinier than it's been in a long time. So I will see you guys for Vlogmas tomorrow. I'm gonna to show you around one of my favorite staycation suites in Vegas. So I will see you then, bye.